Hey gang, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Yes, the Phone Scholar. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 4th, or excuse me, August 4th, sorry, 2010. And here's what we got going today. Really, really light day. Um, first of all, as I promised, BlackBerry Torch 9800 hands on demo. Little long video, but it's uh, Adriana from Phone Dog at the event in New York from yesterday. And it does give a full demo of the Torch 9800. Looks like a pretty cool phone. Uh, looks like BlackBerry has gotten themselves back positioned into the market. Uh, so take a look at it, see what you think, and if it's something that you want, go to, you can go to AT&T on August 12th and pick one up. Uh, iPhone security hole exposed by jailbreak. And this is really interesting. Um, in the past, to be able to jailbreak your iPhone, you had to go through a third-party app. And now with the jailbreak, dot, jailbreak me, sorry, uh, it's a direct kind of application where you just hook into it through your iPhone and it automatically goes with it. And basically what they're saying is this has, to, this has exposed a hole in the security. And let me read this. Jailbreak Me uh, is taking advantage of Apple's proprietary PDF rendering. I'll get a little bit out to a second. Getting behind the iPhone security architecture and run code at will. So pretty interesting. And here's the biggest interesting part about it is once again Apple's insistence on being proprietary and everything being their own may be hurting them because they have no desire to go with the Adobe system and the Adobe PDF and they have their own proprietary which it looks like this jailbreak me has been able to get behind so to speak and run code at will um, but based on what it says here if they had the Adobe which has different security issues that that might not be the case so it's interesting to see what happens uh, the biggest fear in my opinion as the phone scholar is that if jailbreak me can figure out how to do this there could be and they're not doing it maliciously they're doing it to do something else um, although some people can't say it's malicious because they're trying to circumvent the way Apple set up the phone but my biggest concern is that other people will set up applications that can circumvent that using the same type of system and do it maliciously so let's hope not uh, again be very very careful about the, the apps that you download next Clearwire hopes to attract Apple users with new hotspot and Clearwire uh, has made a device called the iSpot and it is a 4G wireless hub that you can use up to eight devices with. Um, it has it will run for four hours. It is designed strictly for Apple products, iPads, iPods, iPod touches, uh, iPhones and it looks like it, 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 the article is interesting. You're gonna have to read the article to kind of get this. I wasn't quite sure. I'm hoping the MacBooks can be used on this, but they're saying that there's some kind of proprietary code with that. So hopefully that uh, will work out okay, and you'll be able to use that with that also. Hundred bucks, but Clearwire right now is doing a deal, and I did put a link to it for twenty nine bucks if you want to pick it up. And it's twenty five dollars a month for the mobile broadband service through Clearwire. It does also run on the four G, so it will run faster even if you don't have a four G device. So check it out. Under categories, this is under Android, Galaxy S, and Verizon. Uh, there's pictures of the Samsung Fascinate. Basically, Samsung Fascinate and Gem Spotted hanging out in the wild, and it's a picture of the Verizon Samsung Fascinate, which is very much like the Samsung Vibrant that T-Mobile is offering right now. Uh, all the specs and everything are in the, which I've given before, are in that that article. So check that out. And just to kind of go back uh, uh, from the, if you want to take a look at it, the July 19th video, I had someone put down a comment that why am I phone scholar? They should be the phone scholar, and they pointed out a mistake that I made in regards to something that I said. Now first of all, if I make a mistake in a video or if you have better information, I am all for you sending it to me. I, I Like I said, I, I play fun that I am the phone scholar, but believe me, there's much more knowledgeable people out there and I do make mistakes. There's no two ways about it. So um, I have no problem with you pointing that out and sending me the correct information. But this, this person wanted to have a little bit of fun with me, so I had a little bit of fun with back. So basically, I told him that if he wanted to be phone scholar or call phone scholar, I would tell him publicly that he is Hey, it'll only cost him five million bucks. So uh, if he has the five million he wants to send me, the, the website's his. And anyway, that's all I got for today. As for everything, check out the website for the full articles, www.phonescholar.com. And I shall see you all tomorrow.